Hi, this is Kyle from Expat Rights. And something kind of crazy happened to me when I was working on the 2021 vision for, for us. So my, my idea was that just find one hotel chain, one big hotel chain that has uh, hotels across China, work with them so that every every one of their hotels except foreigners. And so I was looking for these Chinese hotels that uh, had international branches. So maybe they could uh, have some international pressure. I was thinking maybe uh, seven days in or something that's cheap and also everywhere. And so I was researching seven days in in its own by this huge mega brand called Huaju Hotels, which is partially owned by a French hotel brand called Accor, which is also a huge mega brand. So I reached out to Accor and I contacted their PR department. I was like, hey, you're French. Uh, maybe you could help us talk to Huaju Hotels about uh, discrimination in China or letting us stay there. And they wanted to ignore me. Their goal was to ignore me, but... <laughs> The, the PR person that I contacted accidentally hit reply to all. And so he sent me this email in French. Basically the text goes like, uh, we've been contacted by this person from China about discrimination. I examined their account and they get about 2000 hits a day. They're very small. My suggestion is we ignore them. So this huge mega luxury hotel brand PR person, Accor Hotels, accidentally replied to me with a message to ignore my comments and my request for them to help French people, foreign people, with discrimination at hotels in China. You know, I don't really want to put them on blast. <laughs> what I want is to be able to stay at any seven days in I choose all across China. So a core hotel, your CEO is on the board of Huaju, Huaju Hotels. Maybe he could put in a good word for us, eh?